Oh, welcome back. I was just taking care of some unfinished business. Yes, we're here with Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and now that the giant robot has arse across his pauldron, <laughs> I think it's time to get back to properly cleaning him. Or it, I guess there's no person in there. Right, um, starting things off, shout out to Late Potatoes, who says, uh, So that part about knights being hard to paint is sort of half true. The process is usually you build and paint the endoskeleton slash frame and its armor panels... Sorry, you pa build and paint the endoskeleton slash frame and its armor panels separately. And then you put them together later, making sure the connection points are bare plastic of plastic for the strongest joint. Uh, join, rather. I just assumed that was going to say joint. Uh, most people also magnetize the weaponry all over it, like the carapace-mounted stubber slash mi missile rack, pintle gun slash flamer to the right of its head, and the arm-mounted gear such as the chain sword and assault cannons, chain guns, power claws, heavy flamer, and for veteran preceptor model knights, a rare Laz Impulsor cannon. That does sound very complicated. I'm even more impressed for the people who design who uh, paint the models now. <laughs> uh, I gotta say. Oh yes, and someone, uh, actually a couple of people specified that the gigantic ones that can take out cities in one shot are called titans. I just thought that was like a size uh, class. You know, as opposed to, say, what is this one? Paladin. That's what it was. I am stuck on something. There's act no, I'm not stuck on something. There's just a, pi a pillar here. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, jeez. Let's see, I believe last time we finished off the, uh, the chain sword arm. Well, maybe not the arm, but, uh... So it looks very nice now. I really like how they have Mars and that little fancy banner, like it's a mother tattoo. <laughs> yeah, I should be able to paint the, the paint to clean the uh, the cannon over here off. Unless I do that. Here we go. Naturally start with the side that uh, has the Mechanicus sigil on it. There's so another pipe in the middle. Aha! Battle Cannon Adeptus Mechanicus sigil uh, cleaned. <laughs> Look how squished the letters are up in the corner. this brassy color. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, uh, I might just be, like, an enthusiastic amateur, as opposed to anyone who is uh, an expert on the subject. But I really can't get over just how cool all this stuff is. <laughs> so it suggested that uh, 40k actually started out as a work of satire. And at the best of times, it's still intended to be so. But, uh, I don't know. If it's satire, it's gotta be, like, even more than, you know, Robocop or uh, Starship Troopers. The sort of satire you can miss if you're not looking for it. <laughs> I'm not gonna deny it's there. I'm not gonna be one of those internet smug guys. I mean, it certainly didn't seem to me that they were, like, saying that we should be like the Imperium in any way. Oh, dear. Inside of the barrel is all fucked up with algae and carbon deposits. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Uh. Oh, I, I am standing up straight. This is right. Everything is really fucking tall.
good, I think. I believe I had a comment about the family that sent us this thing. Oh, we actually did find it, I just didn't notice because it uh, isn't mentioned until the second paragraph. My mistake. Um, shout out to Elthwar, who says, Engine Seer Tyro 656 is not only jealous, but likely is convinced that all his feelings are purely rational. <laughs> a lot of people who like to brag about how rational they are have a tendency to act like that. I don't have too much knowledge about the night houses, but Hawk Shroud is famed for its intense sense of loyalty and takes oaths of allegiance and promises absolutely seriously. I like that. As for the missing Primarchs, I like to imagine one never bent the knee to the Emperor, I guess it would have led to him being murdered by the Emperor, and the other died before they could be found. Because as soon as, uh, before they were even born, they were scattered all across the universe by, uh, some unspecified forces of chaos. You know, just showed up. So the you know the uh, the first part of the crusade consisted of the emperor flying to all the planets where they had landed and retrieving them. Uh, the very little evidence about them goes against that, but still, I like it as it is a reason why the emperor has information on them erased very early on, because it made him look less than perfect. The traitor primarchs did serve him for some time, and thus couldn't be memory holed away so easily. like that summary. You know, I will say this, I might have trouble identifying the satire, but at least I'm not one of those people who unironically thinks uh, 40k is a, isn't a bad thing, that we should be trying to be more like the Imperium. <laughs> fucking morons doing photoshops of the emperor to make him look like their uh, favored political candidates and it's like you know that guy's a xenophobic murderous fascist right nope oh, it's tyros Protocol. At the commencement of the sacred ritual, each young noble enters the room and occupies the restricted technology H002 of their night house. Process. Through the throughout the night that follows, the noble's mind will fuse with the neural network of the restricted technology H002. Clarification. Perhaps that sounds pleasant. It is not. <laughs> oh, right, Mechanicus. Nobody pay attention to the fact that I was just walking into a ladder. Now we're getting it somewhere. There's something strangely satisfying about changing angles and finding goop left behind, like underneath those uh, hoses and the shape of the hoses. You know, the chain sword is pretty clearly divided, but the tech around to the cannon is kind of heavy. Well, not literally so, I mean, it's all kind of heavy, but... It's kind of hard to tell where the gun ends and the shoulder begins. That almost worked, I can't believe that. If I had been running, that might actually have worked. Oh! oh, oh. Uh, 
40 degree nozzle. I don't break this one out very often. This doesn't have the power unless you're right up its ass. Oh, it's not even touching that, but it's like, it's not washing that away? Oh, jeez, I didn't even realize it was this bad on top of the gun. Mars M.40. Ammo loader cleaned, that sounds important. Lying on the back of a cannon, spraying up into the innards. This is silly. No, that's still filthy. I need more uh, concentration there. Okay. the soap nozzle in this gunk. What is this? Just battle damage. Well, that, well, soap won't help that, but... Oh. It didn't do shit. Well, I'm not gonna waste that. Well, that worked. I guess I just need elbow grease. Wait. I've just realized this is a machine. I'm sitting on the joint of its arm. Anything that builds up here would, by definition, be elbow grease. Ew. Oh, that's much better. No longer looks like the inside of the pauldron is covered in fat. I don't know what it was, it was white and greasy. It just said battle damage, like it was burned or something. But it looked more like it was coated in marzipan. I'm not even done with the gun yet, and I've gone up 16%. Hooray! I've cleaned the breach of the battle cannon. Stupid physical reality getting in the way of my spraying. Stain. And the Omni Saya saw that it was good. So it's gonna get the pauldron on the other side, did I? No, I can see from here. Oh, no, that's, that's the back of the torso, right? That sticks out. Might as well take a peek. Nope, it's filthy in there. Uh, no, no, wait. Fuck! I found the ladder and fell off. I like how there's just no sound effect for climbing this ladder. Pretty sure there is a sound effect for climbing my ladder. But that seems to be a wall on this particular level. <laughs> I did 
not realize, you know, I did not re think about the fact when I started that I would be writing arse across the uh, insignias here, as opposed to just a solid color underneath. The barrel is clean. That's also important. Oh, interesting. This little schmutz here is not actually uh, dirt. It's well, it's literally painted on, huh? Yeah, it's interesting. I, I like that. It's not just flawless underneath. I mean, it's ex exquisitely maintained, but it's not flawless. I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> that should get your re-education in the Mechanicus. How dare you question our methods! Why am I hosing off his crotch? Um... That's not part of the gun. <sighs> I walked right into that one. I can already see... <laughs> That's the other piston. Oh, I can't jump. That's a problem. Uh... Get the back of this shield here. I do find that... I was looking at this earlier, and I was thinking it's kind of confusing, because of how small that shield is. It doesn't protect anything except part, but not all, of the gun itself. I mean, I've seen that sort of thing on, like, artillery emplacements, but the shields are big enough to protect the crew that's standing back here, if it's an artillery emplacement. I don't know why they would just put one on a gun on a robot if the pilot is actually over here, already covered in armor. How the fuck am I to get to that spot right there? I won't be able to look down enough if I'm standing on that. I don't have the ladder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm getting caught up in the giant fucking robot. Maybe if I go up to the... no. Uh... Yes, second floor. Uh, maybe I'll go up to the top after all. Ah! worth a damn, it would be great. Yes! Okay, this is gonna do it. I just need to be really long. I accidentally got the battle cannon armor while I was doing that. Nice. Nice. Missed the spot. I thought that was dirt, but that's actually just a rivet. You know what would be great for getting the middle is if I could order this thing to T-pose for me and just stick its arms up and out? <laughs> What's that? We're not going to do that? Sounds if I take greater care of painting these things, then, uh... No, but I joke. Um... Quite so intimidating up here, but you know, you can still see the gun. Let's see. Nooks and crannies. Okay. All right. 
might not work better than I thought it might. Battle cannon, heavy, stubber body. dirt up there, but I don't know where to stand to reach it. I'll get back on the gun and peek over the edge. I was just thinking, I remember playing uh, a James Bond game many, many years ago. Nightfire, I want to say it was called. Anyway, the, the the reason I bring it up, I didn't get very far in that, but uh, I do remember that the first weapon you start the game with is a you know just it's it's James Bond's pistol, you know the little stubby one that they made iconic. Um, but I mention it because you know right the primary fire you pull the trigger and the gun fires, duh. Uh, but alternate fire for that particular weapon was just James putting a uh, a silencer on it or taking it off why you take it off. Um, but the reason I bring it up was because this game came out in the early 2000s, and it kind of blew my mind that instead of the gun dropping off the screen and then coming back up with a uh, silencer on it, there was actually an animation where James turns the gun to the side, you see his other hand come in with the silencer and screw it onto the end of the barrel. I was just thinking it would be a, a nice little touch if they did that whenever I uh, change extensions for this thing. Man, that's right, it's behind the armor. Ah! If only this thing was sitting on like a rotating table so we could make different parts of it face the wall. Or these uh, risers, anyway. Oh, crap. Can't see it from here either. on its butt. Ah! Well, the timer did go. So I'm just gonna climb up in this little, uh, tiny platform over here. It doesn't seem to serve any purpose at all. Other than, you know, communing with the infinite. And, uh, call it an episode. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. When we get back to work on this paladin, and we get closer and closer to sending it back to House Hawk Shroud with our compliments. Till then, have yourselves a great day. Later!